Hello, how is everyone doing today? Are we ready for the class? Today I have Christina with me again. Hi. Uh, so yesterday, yeah, not yesterday, last class on Saturday, we were learning a beginning of a choreography on one of Shakira songs. So today we're gonna go through that part again and hopefully we're gonna add some more. So eventually we can uh, come to finishing the whole song. Uh, I'm gonna explain everything slowly, don't worry. And if you are not catching on some of the rules, don't worry, just try to follow and have fun. And uh, then come again and, you know, by repeating, you'll learn how to do it. Okay, uh, I think we can start by warming up already, as we have started a couple of minutes later. Uh, so, let me pick some song for the warm up. Mm. What shall we have? Okay, let's have drums. In case you don't hear music properly or me, please let me know so I can adjust the sound. But hopefully, it should be fine. Okay, so let's start warming up. Okay, we're gonna start with shoulders today. Let's roll shoulders back one by one. Okay, stop. Now at the same time, make big circles. And forward. Okay, neck. Let's go left. And right. Left. And right. shoulder and right and left one more time okay half circle in the front one side so you can hold your right arm and pull it to the left side and bend your right knee to drop the right hip to stretch the right side of your body okay change the sides Now we're gonna round the back. So try to push the area between your shoulder blades high. And now open and push your chest high. And back. And open again. warm up the hands so we're gonna do circles with the wrist so if you don't know how to do those I'm doing circles with my wrist and my hand is following the move 
okay fingers the position is the thumb is under the middle finger whereas the other fingers are relaxed slightly more open and I'm doing circles side to side just push your hip out as much as you can now we don't need to focus on any technicality of the move it's just to push the hip out to stretch the muscles the legs so we're gonna bring the knee close to the chest and circles with your ankle to the right side and to the left side now the whole leg make a circles to warm up our hip joint side okay now grab your ankle and push your heel close to your bum keep your knees close together okay release the other side Bring the knee close to the chest, make circles with your ankle to the left side and to the right side. Okay, now you're going to move the whole leg. If you are losing balance, it's okay to hold on to something. Other side. All right. I'm gonna warm up our feet and ankle a little bit. So the feet are flat on the ground. Bend the knees. Lift the heels. Straighten the legs. Bring the heels down. Bend the knees. Lift the heels. Straighten the legs, bring the heels down. Bend, lift, straighten, down. Bend, lift, straighten, down. Bend, lift, straighten, down. One more. Straighten and down. Okay. Let's stretch one more time. Interlace your fingers, bring your arms up. Stretch high, high, high. Now open your arms and come with straight back forward. You can bend your knees if you need to. Stay here a little bit. And now bend the knees and fall down. Bring your arms, your hands on the floor or on your legs, wherever you can reach. And bicycle the legs one by one to straighten them. Okay, slowly roll up, head comes up last, okay, okay, how is it, everyone's warm, hello Margo, nice to see you here, uh, Okay, let me open the door here in Windows because it's getting hot and sunny. Just a second. Okay. 
All right. So we're gonna go through some moves first, just to start warming up and get into the mood, dancing mood, and then we're gonna go back to the choreography. All right. Okay. The feet are hip width apart, knees are slightly bent, so no straight, slightly bent, pelvis is tucked under, so my head, shoulders, hips and my tailbone are all in the same line, so my bum is not sticking to the back or my pelvis is not going to the front, is in the middle, right? Chest is up, shoulders are back. Now maintaining the position of the pelvis, we're just gonna push it side to side. If you seen the little mini class I did, I did this is the move I was explaining. But also, if you've done some of the long classes with me, you must know this move already because we've done it a few times. And if you are new, don't worry. Just make sure your knees are slightly bent, your hips stay in horizontal position and you are pushing them side to side. Your chest should be steady as well as your shoulders so you can place your hands on your chest to make sure it's steady or you can put them on the sides or you can use your hands to guide the move. is still in neutral position. I'm not tilting it back or forward. I'm just pushing my hips forward and back. Shoulder from the side. So when I go back, I pull my belly in towards my spine. And when I go forward, I let my belly go out. through these moves so we have more time for the choreography and if you are new or you missed any of the moves and you don't understand it yet don't be shy just ask and I'll explain it more properly and circle check if your knees are still bent check if your hips are still in horizontal position your shoulders should be steady. Okay, we go the other side. Forward, left, back and right. Make sure your knees are still slightly bent. Alright, now I'm gonna try different move with the hips. So we're gonna bring hips up and up. But it's not the move we were doing some classes before. Now we're trying to shift the weight side to side. Okay, so let's try shifting the weight first. So the feet are hip width apart, knees are slightly bent. And I'm just gonna stand on my right, on my left, on my right, on my left. And when I'm on my right, I lift my left heel a little bit. Okay.
So you can see I'm slightly shifting side to side. I'm, I'm not moving up and down. And now I'm gonna add hip up this move. Shift and bring the hip up. You can imagine there is something here next to you you are trying to hit. So if you put your arms here, try to hit them with your bum. Hit, 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 hit. to stop and we're gonna do the basic up and down move so now I'm just bending and straightening me like this I never do complete straight okay so it's always bent more bent and less bent and when I straighten kind of little bit my hip goes up and the one where the knee is bent more goes down so I go up and down. Here my shoulders and head are completely steady. I'm not moving side to side at all. Okay, stop. We stand slightly, slightly wider. And we're gonna do one with shifting the weight. Can you see the difference? So here I'm also working with my feet, lifting my heels, and my hips are not going only up and down, but slightly to the side. I'm shifting my weight. I can do it also without moving upper body at all, which actually is the proper way to do it. But while we are learning, we can move slightly side to side just to understand how the move works. You can put your hand to hit it. Okay, and we can separate this move into doubles. So we're not gonna do one. One, are we gonna do one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. Okay, does this make sense? Can you see the difference between the two moves? Hope so. Okay, let's uh, practice some more moves and then we're gonna go to choreography. So we will be starting with snake arms. So how we do it? We start with the shoulders going slightly forward and up. So it's quarter circle in a way. Shoulder. Now we bring the elbow up, wrist, and the rest of the head. Okay, and we do the same thing with the other arm. So shoulder does quarter circle, elbow, wrist and hand. But while we are working with the left arm going up, the right one goes down. So we do the second quarter circle with the shoulder. So the back, elbow goes back, wrist and arm goes back, okay? Goes down, up. Let's practice this a little bit. You can just roll around, forward and back. We can do this move very small and very, very controlled, or we can do it bigger and more relaxed. Roll. 
and a big finger left. This is very hard for me to do today because I was doing a workout on shoulders, so they hurt. <laughs> okay, so shoulders, the snake arms, this will be the very first move in the choreography. Okay? And to make it look nice, we're not gonna stand with our feet just like that. We're gonna bring the left foot slightly in front, place the uh, toes are touching the floor. Okay? Here we go, show of snake arms. After that, we put our feet next to each other, hip width apart, and we're gonna do hitting to the sides. After that, we will do double. Let's try it again, just to remember the sequence of the move. So left leg is in the front, toes on the left foot are touching the floor. Then we bring the legs next to each other and we go one, 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 one. and then double. Double, 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 double. Okay, relax. We can try this beginning with the music and then we're gonna do some different moves with upper body and learn some new steps and then we're gonna go back to the choreography again. Okay? So let me play the song. Left foot is in the front. Let's try it one more time. The left leg is in the front. Okay, is it clear so far? Margo, do you remember it from last time? Okay, so let's go through the move which will come after. So next move is figure eight going up. So we will push our hips to the side and up, side and up. You can use again your uh, feet as well. So go side and to bring your hip up you can lift your heel as well. So you are drawing figure away like this. You are scooping something and bringing it. Don't 
forget, you never straighten your knees completely, they are always slightly bent. Continue doing the move without lifting the heels. So for this, you might need to come a little bit lower, bend your knees slightly more. together okay open try it again up 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 bringing the palms together okay also when we are doing this move what is quite common to do is to do the first at the beginning to make the move bigger so even your chest is following so i'm not gonna do just my hips but my chest is moving kind of uh, opposite try to come closer so you can see it might come too naturally try to just let your chest go to see how it's gonna move so you are standing and you're making the big hip move on the right side so your chest naturally is leaning to the right and then chest stops and it's only the hips okay let me come back so you will do big one with the upper body and big one getting small replace the arms and now it's just the hips okay again big Big, 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 and just the hips. Okay. Okay, remember, that's great. All right. So let's try a couple more times. So now I'm trying to add a bit more detail into the choreography. Big, big, bounce together and just the hips again big 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 palms together and just the hips after that you will do circles so what we were doing in the beginning okay so we're gonna step make kind of half circle with the leg so we take the leg front and to the side open the arms push the hip forward and make a circle. That's the horizontal circle we are doing. Just slightly bigger. First one is slightly bigger, and then you just continue doing the normal one. Okay? So let's try it together with a figure of eight. We'll go big, 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 small, just the hips, just the hips, and step circle 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 okay one more time up 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 smaller down the hips step all right 
Shall we try it with uh, the Shakira song? Let's learn what comes after. This one's actually gonna be a little bit different for what we've done last time, because I think this one fits the music better. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna teach you the move first, okay? So we will be stepping to the side, first to the right. So we open the right leg slightly, so my toes are not pointing to the front, but diagonal, okay? And I'm gonna step diagonal. My left foot is pointing to the front. I bring it together. And again, and again, and again. I'm gonna do four. The next one, I turn my left foot diagonal. I step and bring uh, the right one now pointing to the front. And doing it like this, it feels a little bit broken. Don't worry, once we add the hips, it's gonna make sense. So, right is pointing diagonal. But we are walking to the side, okay? We are not walking diagonal. We could, but we're gonna be, do it to the side now. So step, together, step, together, step, together, step, together. Other side, step, together, step, together, step, together, step together okay so there's four steps to the right four steps to the left you're gonna add the hips so when we step with the right this one's gonna be right one gonna be bent and our hip will come up on the left side okay so I drop the right hip and now I bring the left back and I bring the right hip up drop 
drop, up, drop, up, okay, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up. And because of the position of our legs, when I drop my hip down, it comes out to the side more. If I was standing front, this is what would happen. Right? Because my leg is like this, this is what happens, okay? So it creates nicer shape. Step together, 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 step together. Okay? Let's do it a few more times. Going to the right, get ready. Step together, 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 step together. Again, the right. Two, three, four, left, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we can add the arms. We have a few options of what we can do. Maybe we can choose together, which one you like. So we can have arms on the sides, which is the most simplest option, but the least interesting. So we can just walk, having our arms like that. Or we can do the Egyptian position, which is palm of the right hand is facing up, my elbow is bent, and my left palm is facing down and elbow is bent. Okay, and I'm walking to the right. So my body is in the front and my leg is to the side and I'm walking to the side, okay? So I switch. Switch, be careful your chest is still facing forward, I'm not turning my whole body to the side, okay? Or what we can do, we can have our hands on the hip to accentuate the move and the next one can be here, showing the direction. So which one do you like? What do you think the third one? Third one? The hand on the hip? Yeah. Okay, let's do that one then. Let's try it a couple more times just to get used to all the moves connected together. So we get ready. Step, 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 step. Step, 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 step. Change. 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 Hand on the hip, yeah, okay. You have to hand on the hip. There is also option to have the other hand here. I think it's nicer open with this move. Okay, so let's connect it to the previous move. So what we were doing before was figure eight going up, 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 up. Figure eight with just the hips. Now we open and circle, 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 circle circle and now we finish with the weight on the left side so we just open the right foot and we start walking one two three four one two three four and right after that I think there is double 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 it's the same move we're doing at the beginning Okay, so I'm gonna play some slower drums so we can try these moves together and then we're gonna try it with the Shakira song. So that one is a bit faster. So it's easier to practice it slowly first. So we're gonna start with figure of eight going up. Okay, so we get ready and go up, 
up, up, up. Now adjust the hips. Up, 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 up. Circle. And get ready. Almost follow ready right acting. Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's try it again. So we're gonna do figure of A. We're gonna start. Up, 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 up. And circle. Please stay on the left. And double, 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 double. Okay? Let's try one more time. Get the music. Slower one. Shall we try from the. No, from the great, I think it's okay, right? So we get ready and we're gonna go up, up. Together and just the hips open, circle, 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 step, 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 change, 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 double, 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 double. Okay. Is it clear so far? Let's try with, uh, with the music then. Now we're gonna start from the beginning. Okay? So the left foot is in the front. Snake arms. And then you come slightly down. And up. Get ready. Double, double, double. You can play with the arms, I don't have to. Up, 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 bounce together. Then we have a short break, okay? Okay, 
Take a couple of minutes break. Okay, so after this, there will be the fast step, the one we were doing in the last class. So that one we can do with the arms. By the beginning, it's quite difficult to be able to do the steps quickly in the music because it's quite fast. So don't worry if you cannot add the mar uh, arms yet. It's fine, you can do it with, uh, without first and then later on we'll try to add the details. Or even if you never do the arms, just enjoy it, it's fine. <laughs> if you have any questions, just uh, don't be afraid to ask, it's fine. Let me go back to explain anything, if there is something to understand. Shall we go back to dancing slowly? So the move which comes after, I'll explain it without music first. So we will, move, we will doing the double hips, okay? And straight after we finish the double hi hips, we need to be ready to start with the right foot, to step forward. So we step with the right in front of the left, left comes to the side, left in front of the right, right comes to the side, right in front of the left, left comes to the side, left in front of the right, right comes to the side. So that was four steps and we will repeat the same thing going back. So now we bring the right foot behind the left, left to the side, left foot behind the right, right to the side, right behind the left, left to the side, left behind the right, right to the side. That was four steps to the back. Now we're gonna go front again. So right to the front, left to the side, left to the front, right to the side, right to the front, left to the side, left in the front, right to the side, right and left. I think we were supposed to finish with the left. Did I do five? I don't know. I, don't know. I think I... Uh, Can I ask you something? Right side, yeah? yeah. Is, it, is it important to go really side to side or just a little bit? Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, it depends really for the, the music. So when the music is fast, you can so do just, just tiny, mm -hmm. tiny, like tiny little step. And if you use it somewhere else, in the slower music, where mm -hmm. you have more time, you can do big one mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. take all the time you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because now it's fast, yeah, it's fine just to do to tiny, tiny, small mm -hmm. steps. So we go right. Let's practice the small ones. It's actually a good point. Now I go back. And forward. Okay, and that's it. So it's forward, back, and forward. Mm -hmm. Let's try it a few more times. Let's add the hips now. So we go right, left, up, up, up. And we go back, 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 back. And again, forward, 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 forward. And let's try it with some music. We're gonna do it a few times in a row. And let me see if I have something faster so we can practice for, for the speed we want. No, this one is slow. Yeah, this one is quite fast. So what we're gonna do forward, back and forward, then we take a break to come back and start again, okay? So we will start with the right, okay? So we get ready, right, 
left, left, right, right, left, left, right, back, 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 forward, 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 forward. Okay? This is quite fast, but I think it's kind of same as it's gonna be in the song. Yeah. So let's do it again. Okay? So we're gonna start with right. Get ready. And and back, forward, okay, let's do it again, I'm gonna show you what you can do with your arms, but you don't need to worry about it now, just so you can see it, so you know that the option, okay, so it's the same thing, we're starting with the right, okay, get ready, and let's go, one, two, and I can do the arms, and back, Okay, so that's what I was doing. Okay. So when I step with the right, my right arm is up, so this is all straight. And left goes to the side, left arm goes front. So I can look over at my hips. Okay? To the beginning of the song. Let's practice a bit more. Okay, so we get ready. We're gonna start with the right foot front, right arm is up. If you are confused about the arms at this point, it's fine. So let's do it. And Not keep asking. Let's do it a couple more times, okay? So we get ready and you're gonna start with the right. Let's go. And back. And forward. And continue back. Have you tried with the, the Shakira song? I have to... <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get it. I know, this one is uh, quite fast, a little bit complicated. So, I'm thinking what could be like the easy trick to help. Just focus with walking, go always right, left, left, right. So we always do each foot twice. So I start with the right, but then I go left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Okay, maybe if you think about it like that, it's gonna help you. Maybe show it from the side, so they can see again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try it. Hmm. I'll read the music then. Let mm -hmm. me put the fastest drums. And we try it from the side. First I go a bit slower and then I go faster. So I go right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay? And go again. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. To change, I do the same thing, but I step back. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. You do from a short video next mini class explaining this and then you can just practice uh, 
this move so it gets into your body so your body remembers how to do it okay let's try it with the Shakira song now it's gonna be very fast but don't worry if you miss it just do whatever <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this in the front. Okay, get ready. Singles. Double. Double. Get ready. almost an hour now shall we just go to what we have couple more times and then stretch or do you want to do one more move which comes after that what do you which think which one is it the Stepping back. back yeah so maybe for the next time yeah i don't know you can show it okay i'm gonna show you the next 
move. We're not gonna practice it now, just so your heads can already see what's coming. Okay, so the move which comes after. Well, you can try the move on the spot. I'm mean, not gonna try it with the music. So what comes after is the same as we were doing hips to the side, okay? What we are doing at the beginning, single, single, double, double. It's the same thing, but we're gonna do it on the toes. Okay, so lift, you will lift your heels and it's the same thing. So bringing your hips up and down, but they're also walking with your feet. Okay, so you can even think about it as the basic move when we did up and down and you go here. But I think it's better to go from, yeah, I think this is easier. So what we were doing at the beginning, side to side and just bringing on the toes. Okay. And we're gonna connect it with the steps. Step we will, which we'll be doing is open, close, open. Right? Yes. yes. Okay? And to the other side as well. So when you're on the toes, we're gonna go diagonal to the back. Open, close, open. Other side. Open, close, open. Open, close, open. Okay? Come closer. No, now we cannot see my feet. I'll do it from the side. I'll do it not moving back so you can just see. Yeah, that's good. Great. Thank you. So diagonal to the back. Open, close, open. Open, close, open. Open, close, open. Okay? But the steps are quite small. So I go open, close, open. Open, close, open. Open, close, open. Open, close, open. And I'm gonna add this. Okay? <laughs> Sounds very complicated. It is. Yeah, so now just on the spot, I'll go open, close, open, open, close, open, open. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, tiny steps. Tiny steps, but I'm using my hips. Mm -hmm. So when I go back, Okay, one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. If I do it not going back so you can see properly, is this one and two, 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 one and two. Yeah, maybe that's the bit we can practice now. Just doing one and two to the sides. Shall we practice it with some music for two minutes? So we have the basis for the next time, so we can use the move in the choreography. Okay, I'll play something not too fast, not too slow. Yeah, so. Just the step. What we do? Step, close, step, and there is nothing, so leave the leg to prepare. Step, close, step, and step. Try now the hips. So what we were doing? Bring it on the toes. And we try to walk slowly, okay? Chest is steady, both knees are bent. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. Try double the speed. Step and step, step and step, step and step, step and step, left, 
left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Continue. And who is brave enough? Can go diagonal to the back, okay? So we're gonna go on the next one. And you can go forward. And side. You're gonna go back. Forward, side, back with right, forward with left, side, Back with the right. Okay. Feels quite good. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, so this is the move which we will be doing next time in the choreography, which comes next. So we'll go back to it, don't worry. But it's always good like to taste it a little bit and then you come back to it and you come back to it so the body starts to remember the move. Okay, so shall we... Are there any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Do you want me to explain anything we've done today? Any questions from you? No. no. Okay, so let's stretch then. All right. Done quite a lot of work today. Um... Shall we have some music for the stretching? Mm. Which one shall we have? Mm. This one is quite fast, let me see. Okay, let's have this for stretching. So we stand with the feet a little bit wider, we bend the knees slightly, we come down, down with the chest, to reach with the arms and come up, stretch up, open your arms, elbows are at the back, and again bend the knees, chest comes to your thighs, and open up. Okay, let's roll down now, so your hands are coming down on your thighs, you're rounding your back, let your hands hang, move side to side, saying no, saying yes, now bicycle the legs, Okay, bring the legs wider and push the hips side to side. You can even bend the other knees. Now we walk the hands to the right foot. We leave the left hand on the foot, or on the floor, or on anywhere, on the left and right arm. You are twisting the back and stretching the leg. Slowly come down. You walk left side. Right hand on the left foot. Left arm up. Okay, so we down. 
skin, bend the knee, side to side, you can go even lower. Okay, so I'll do all up. Raising the legs. Go more to the side. 
so you can see my feet. Okay, and just stretch towards your toes. guys for joining for dancing with us today it was fun i hope you had fun as well uh, next class will be on wednesday wednesday is slightly later at uh, 8 p.m british summer time so that's four hours later than today okay so we're gonna go back to the choreography and uh, continue a little bit more and there's gonna be performance as well on Wednesday after the class. So if you want me to see if you want me to see dancing, then you can stay after the class to see. Um what else? Well if you know about anyone who has enjoyed the classes, please let them know. So there can be more of us dancing. We can have all fun together. And if you subscribe, that uh, would be great as well. Uh, so we will get notifications when I go live. Sometimes I forget to post in the Facebook group. I always try to post one hour before just to let you know that the class is starting soon. But sometimes I forget. And if you, I don't know if it's called following or subscribing. I think it's uh, subscribing on YouTube and following on Twitch. So if you do that, you'll get notification every time I, I start the class. All right. So I hope to see you again on Wednesday. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.